City with a combined weight of 480 pounds. Mr. Jalisco, Mr. Abernathy, the Commission! Welcome wrestling fans to Metro Pro Wrestling, Dr. Wrestling Midnight Got 3 here. Thrilled to be celebrating the pinnacle of American arts and athletics professional wrestling here with you tonight. I am here in place of Dave and Chris who are on a long-term assignment. So I will handle the play-by-play -play duties in their steed. And we're starting things off with the commission, former Metro Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champion, always loyal followers of the rules, the book of rules they have. Now you may say, hey, these guys are as underhanded as they come. Well, they've actually won over the crowd here in Metro Pro Wrestling through a combination of wrestling ability, sheer determination, and uh, kind of endearing personalities, believe it or not. So. Uh, Kansas City, one of the great cities in all the world, and certainly home of some of the most forgiving wrestling fans and nicest people I've ever encountered in my 30 years on Earth, as we have Jalistico with the microphone. Hey guys, I just got a quick question, and I want you to be brutally honest. 100%! You're gorgeous! Keep it 100! Win! But let me ask the question. When we used to come out here and cut these long promos, were we as boring as Michael Strider was? Okay, I just wanted to make sure, because I was pretty bored back there for like 20 minutes. So I just wanted to make sure. Oh. Look guys, I'm not going to pretend that you know we haven't done some dirty things in the past, because we have. We're bored now. But from here on out, I promise you, you have my word. Unless someone tries to break these rules on us, we're going to fight fair, okay? Okay? Because we respect the rules, and we are the Commission! Mr. Delesco and Mr. Abinathy. Dapper dressers they are, vowing to abide by the Ladies rules. I thought they already were about uh, abiding opponents. by that, or at least they've now, claimed it for over two up, years here in Metro Pro. Of over 500 pounds, Hootam Anaya Left Coast Gorillas. Tough opposition here for the commission as we have the Metro Pro Wrestling debut of the Left Coast Gorillas. Now we've seen Hoodlum before, and in fact, as, as an impressive and talented and tough as he is, he is yet to pick up a victory in Metro Pro Wrestling. A, a, in fact, he's very furious about it. But now he brings with him his brother. Let me introduce you to Anaya, the brother of Hoodlum. Together they are the Left Coast Gorillas. They are a decorated tag team throughout the western half of the country, wrestling in California, Utah, South Dakota. Uh, they spent a lot of time in Colorado for NRW wrestling primarily, and they have made an impact all over the former AWA states on the western side of the country. As it, look at the menacing, my God. Menacing bandanas. Do you call those bandanas if they're on the front of the face? That uh, should clue you into how hip I am. As uh, Left Coast Gorillas and I, certainly not the types that hang out regularly in a social setting. Uh, mainly it's an intimidation issue on my part. Shut your mouth! For five years, kind of damn near five years, I've been coming into this building, leaving my family, leaving my home to come to this dump called Kansas City. Now come on, this is a tremendous city, award-winning city. And because of your disrespect, because of the conspiracy in the back, I have yet to win a match in this wretched place. I decided to bring my family to you. I look to my blood. I look to my brother. I look to Anaya. We are the Left Coast Gorillas, and we are damn better than you. 
very tough words, and he's certainly not trying to win the crowd's appeal. And as far as you two are concerned, when I look at you, frankly, you make me sick. These people used to disrespect you just like they disrespect me. And what do you do? Instead of standing up to them, now you're the good guys. You respect the rules? Well, guess what? We don't like rules. Yeah, that's what I said. We don't like rules. And as far as I'm concerned, the only thing that sucks more than the rules is the commission. There, the fight is on. Here we go. All four men going at it. Referee has lost control even before he's rang the bell. Left Coast Girls on the attack. If you're going to rip on the commission, you certainly shouldn't rip on the rules as nothing will fire them up more. Now the Gorillas will pay. Could be a meeting of the minds, courtesy of the commission. And the commission is one that certainly knows a little something about meetings. Big forearms now. Three, four, double teaming. Six, seven. Oh, two right hands. Both sides of the jaw. Hoodlum goes packing. Anaya, welcome the Metro Pro. What a kick to the side of the head on the three strike combination. And the commission has cleared out the gorillas. They might be set packing back to California even before the bell rings here. Wild start to our uh, wrestling here tonight in Kansas City. As the gorillas trying to collect themselves. Now the bell has not officially rang that I'm aware of. The referee doing his best to restore order. Uh, the thing is, these tag team bouts, especially in Metro Pro, crossroads of the great teams of the country today. Uh, it, it is remarkably tough for any one man to keep control of four athletes. Uh, hell, you could have four referees, and I don't think that'd be enough for these tag team bouts here in Metro Pro. Oh, now Hoodlum is, oh, now, wait a minute, Hoodlum is giving the business to my good friend Medea. That is not the woman to mess with, the toughest woman in Kansas City. Oh, yeah, you don't want to mess with her. She has helped me on a number of occasions, uh, both in matters physical and uh, some emotional distress I've had in my life. I want to thank Medea for her, uh, her, her help. We have, here we go, the match officially starts. Color of tie-up leads us into an exchange of arm ring. Yes! Abernathy with the top wrist lock applied now to Hoodlum. As we have a quick tag to Jalistico, another tag to Abernathy. Very decorated, tried and true tag team for many years. They are masters of tag team tactics. And you couldn't ask for quicker tags in and out. Always a sign of a talented a, uh, team that is accustomed to teaming with one another. And I don't think Hoodlum's accustomed to dealing with this many uh, arm ringers from two men in the span of a minute. I don't think the referee's accustomed to dealing with that pace. As Hudlum backs him into the corner, he's got him by the bridge of the nose. He's got a thumb up the nose. Oh, and a slap to the face. How disrespectful is that? Come on. So, oh, leapfrogs over into Anaya with the Samoan drop. And now the gang warfare. The referee has really lost all control of this one. Now Hudlum slows it down with the Grounded sleeper here. Look at the way he's got his arm across the chin and the jawbone, the cheekbone of Jalisico pressing in. Jalisico fighting back up to a vertical base, tries to fight him off, pounded with a big elbow to the back of the skull. Jalisico is uh, still a good five feet or more. Now he's 18 feet away from his tag team partner. As Anaya comes in. An impressive young athlete, only in his second year as a pro, but has already received and gained championships in other parts of the country. Received a number of championship opportunities, taking advantage of those. Irish with reversal here by Jalistico. This is the Haymaker clothesline. 
quick hit and tag there by Hoodlum. Nice combination of strikes, followed by a drop kick. Beautiful placement right on the breastbone there. That's for the cover. Felicico kicks out. Now he's a very tough athlete, but he is uh, certainly in a huge disadvantage here as you look at the power of Hoodlum as he literally, while applying that sleeper hold, also pulls him back near his own corner. And now he's making Jalisco face Anaya. So he visually doesn't have an understanding of where his partner is, and he can't get his feet anywhere near Abernathy for even a foot tag. Oh, jawbreaker, though. This could be his opportunity. Oh, cut off there by Hoodlum. Impressive tag team wrestling so far by the Left Coast Gorillas. As they've made a name for themselves around the country. The elbow drops followed up by the tag. Now Anaya back in the ring. As, look at the, oh, big elbow to the heart. As Hoodlum held him in place with the foot. And now another, a uh, rear chin lock applied now. So list goes on the ropes though. Talking about the traveling of the Left Coast Gorillas, the commission have certainly traveled around the east side of the country uh, as they team together. Uh, wait a minute here. Come on. The underhanded tactics in play. This isn't in the rule book. At least uh, not the positive side of the rule book. Is the Gorillas taking full advantage of the new uh, sportsmanlike tactics trying to be employed by the commission. The referee's placement doing the best he can. Dealing with the emotions of Abernathy as is really taking quite a beating here. The commission teamed with uh, Gary J, also known as Homeless Gary here in Metro Pro, and they won quite a prestigious tournament in Full Impact Pro in Florida. And in 2014, they won the six-man showcase tournament live on iPay-Per-View. They've also made appearances in Shakara Pro Wrestling and a number of other great independent companies all over the East Coast and beyond, all over the Midwest. Oh, now here we go. The West Coast Gorillas as Hoodlum transitions into that abdominal stretch. Great tactic. I don't like this one bit where he's having the help of Naya. But the referee to be in the proper position to know if Jalisco's giving up can't get his eyes on the underhandedness. He can only sense it. Oh, there he saw it. Nice hip toss by Jalisco. Desperation hip toss, if there ever was one. And now this is his opportunity. He's got his eyes locked in on Abernathy. And there's the tag. Abernathy coming in. He's fired up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the referee didn't see it. The referee dealing with Anaya. Unfortunate turn of events. Referee did not see the tag. Jalistico still at the receiving end of a, a tremendous amount of punishment here as the former tag team champions are really being challenged by the Left Coast Gorillas here tonight. And I uh, charges in. Oh, meets a foot to the face by Jalistico. He's determined to get that tag into a cutter. This is Jalistico's opportunity. But upon landing, disoriented enough, he turned the wrong way. Now he's got his body position. He sees Abernathy in his sights. Can he get the tag before Anaya can stop him? Or Anaya gets the tag himself. Anaya with the tag, and Jalesica with the tag. We will tag that time. Abernathy's in. He's a house of fire. What a strike. Big sledgehammer blow to both of them. Then. And another one. The brawler throws Anaya up and over the top rope. What a hard fall to the floor. Irish whip reversal, elbow into the stunner, followed by the Yakuza kick, stopping him down. What a series of strikes. And Hoodlum might have kicked out, but he might need plastic surgery after that. Incredible series of moves to his face. Irish whip now to Anaya. This is really breaking down. Anaya counters. Oh, misses though. Felicico kicks Abernathy in the head. Huge opportunity for the Gorillas. Referee trying to stay out of the way. I'm trying to keep up. Estio takedown by Anaya. Cover. He's not the legal man. 
He's not the legal man. Good call by the referee. Impressive that he can keep track of that. As now Anaya's got a hold of Abernathy, and the rule book meets Anaya right in the face, thanks to his tag team partner. Anaya has been floored, referee checking on him. Now, wait a minute. Delestico's got the other rule book right into the head of Hoodlum. What a shot, turned him inside out. Abernathy with the cover, and the commission has Ladies won the list bout. What a victory here. Big money at stake as the commission. They said they were going to abide by the rules. And certainly the rules had a big factor in that victory here tonight. What a victory for the commission as they look to get back into that tag team championship picture. They want the tag team titles back in their possession and the money and the power that comes along with that. Hi everybody, this is Jim Cornette. You're watching Metro Pro Wrestling, Kansas City's number one pro wrestling promotion. Welcome back to Metro Pro Wrestling and welcome to Main Event City. Tremendous first time singles contest to Main Event our card tonight. As we await the arrival of the fittest wrestler in the world, Mark Sterling. As he gets set to take on Matt Fitchett, one half of our Metro Pro Tag Team Champions, the Cobra Kai Dojo. This bout is determining new number one contender ACH Central States Championship. And there we have, oh, flanked by the King Brothers. Combined, the three of them are the Killer City Kings. Rarely make an entrance the traditional way as they come from a side door, a side exit. The menacing Mark Sterling and the 400 pound behemoths, each of them. As they raise the kettlebells, look at the skull. Look at the menacing scowl on the skull of that kettlebell. Custom made for Mark Sterling, who is a recognized CrossFit competitor. He also is implementing a uh, new form of uh, personal workout. He refers to as HOSFIT that emphasizes strength for functionality and overall uh, athletic ability and Sterling has the microphone we will give him a, an opportunity to speak here uh, I don't think we have a choice You know, Jerry Wyatt, I bet you think you're pretty clever hiding underneath the ring to sneak attack my boys. You know what? I've done that move before too, so props, Jeremy. But you know, you're not as clever as you think you are. If you were that clever, you would have known that Michael Steyer was going to turn on you. If you were that clever, you would have known that myself the Kings and Derek would have jumped you last show after a match with Geek Singh. But you're not that clever. And these fans are dumb enough to buy into you. They think you're some kind of clever, anti-hero, rebel belt collector. Well, you're a fraud, Jeremy. And you pander to these fans. When I look out here, I don't see people. I see pigs. I see fat, worthless, transparent, insipid, brainless, no good, loathsome pigs. Well, I apologize for uh, Mark Serling's fat shaming. He's such a fat shamer. The thing is, I'm above you. I'm everything you'll never 
Letter B. However, not only am I the fittest wrestler on earth, I'm also the best personal trainer on earth. And I have a guy deal for you fans. Christy, bring up the sign, please. I'm offering you my personal train services. One hour for 300 bucks. And there you have it, Sterling offering the fans one hour of his time for $300. Deal, right? No, think. Stop. Use your brains and think. By looks of you, by look of your fat bellies, the dead, vacant looks in your eyes, I can tell you all go to McDonald's at Burger King and get the dog menu, right? Eat one less cheeseburger per day for 300 days. No, one less cheeseburger per day for 300 days equals 300 bucks. Then you can buy my personal train and I can save your life. I can suffer from diabetes, strokes, heart attacks, the list goes on. You want to live like that? Or you want my salvation, huh? But either way, I don't care. You know, when I see it, the less of you, the better. So now I'm done giving you my attention that you don't deserve. The business at hand is that I've got a match to be the number one contender for the single stage title. So Matt Fishett, I know you're good, man. I've seen you on YouTube. I've seen you in the show. You're good, you can do the flips and the kicks. Yeah, you're impressive, man. But you know, here the thing is, this is Metro Pro. It's not Mark Sterling, this is my ring. So come to my ring, take the beating like a man. I can prove to all these people why no one is safe! Mark Sterling, former Metro Pro Champion, covered a number of topics there, but he did discuss Jeremy Wyatt, his longest tenured the rival throughout the history of Boston, Metro Pro Wrestling. They've had tremendous battles for the Metro Pro Heavyweight Matt title. Fitchett. Recently, we saw Derek Stone defeat Jeremy Wyatt with an assist from Michael Strider become the Metro Pro Champion. And as you know, there's sort of an alliance of sorts between Sterling, the King Brothers, and Stone, working to the benefit of Strider. But here we have the crowd fires up for Matt Fitchett, one half of our Tag Team Champions, the Cobra Kai Dojo. Now he's got some revenge on his mind himself. As you know, Davey Vega, the other half of the Tag Champs, not here tonight as the King Brothers allegedly, allegedly have injured Davey Vega. I would put it past him. Uh, they are disputing that. But the thing is, unfortunately, it happened at a time and a place when none of our cameras were around. The story goes that uh, Vega and Fidget were actually at a gas station when the Killer City Kings showed up and the Kink Brothers literally squashed Vega against the side of his car while Fitchett had gone inside. So that is the links they go to in an effort to uh, get a tag title shot themselves as Killer City Kings and the Kink Brothers specifically badly won a tag team title opportunity. And that would be a hell of a matchup because uh, one King Brother is the size of the Cobra Kai Dojo combined, quite frankly. The bell rings, here we go. Michael Cray, senior official, in charge of what should be a tremendous singles encounter. First time ever here, Matt Fitchett against Mark Sterling. Fitchett in tremendous shape. We talk about the physical attributes of Mark Sterling. Fitchett is also uh, uh, Beyond the tattoos, there's a lot of muscles. Uh, he looks like he's in great shape. Looks like he's bulked up, maybe gained about 10 pounds. Still giving up approximately 40 to 45 pounds to Sterling. And here we go. As Sterling's gonna try to use that power and technical ability to, uh, oh, neutralize the high-flying, fast-paced skills of Fitchin. And there you go. 
this should be a good e example of leverage in technical wrestling having uh, more of a benefit than power. As you saw there with the way he was able to flip Sterling due to the positioning of Fitch's hands on the joints of Sterling's arm and shoulder. Sterling uh, certainly not uh, very amused by the early moments in this bout. Waistlock takedown by Sterling. And now it's just playing some mind games. Oh, come on. Total disrespect there, Fitchett. Laughs it off. Uh, he's got a laid back demeanor, but don't let it fool you. He's a serious, serious competitor in the ring. And he's got a mean streak to him. You always got to watch out for, for a man that willingly puts that many tattoos on his body. Color, oh, it faked out the color of a tie up. Went with a single leg takedown. Drives his knee into the back of Sterling's knee, wrenching away a toe hold. Have a single leg toe hold there. Oh, Sterling rolls through to the robe. Smart tactic. Should be a lot of great wrestling skills on display here in between the high flying antics of Fitchett, the power of Sterling. Both of them great technical wrestlers. Sterling has the experience advantage on Fitchett. Been a pro now over 10 years. In fact, I think he's going on 10 or 12, 13 years as a pro. Fitchett, about five or six to his credit, but uh, five or six very, very strong quality years. As Fitchett now, a little bit of the showmanship, a little bit of the mind game, showing the uh, karate stylings of the Cobra Kai Dojo. He truly is a skilled and recognized uh, martial artist. Holds high level belts in a couple different disciplines. Big European uppercut though by Sterling. Certainly not a karate strike, but just as devastating if not more so than your standard karate move. Big forearm there by Fitchett. Back Sterling in the corner now. A good old kick to the midsection, the ultimate neutralizer. Up on the second rope. Would be the crowd rallies around him. Sterling tries to cover up, but Fitch is still getting him on the top of the skull with these shots. And another big shot to the head and down Sterling in the corner. Sterling rolls out to the arena floor. And as you see, Jake King checking on the uh, condition of his coach. As Fitchett is encouraging Sterling to get back up to his feet. Michael Cray is checking on the condition of Sterling. Sterling back in the ring. Big forearm smash by Fitchett. Knee to the midsection. Another European uppercut by Sterling. He's so skilled at those. Back body drop. No, Fitchett lands on his feet. What ability and agility. Into a hurricanrana. Snaps Sterling off. Whips the neck. All the momentum drove Sterling to the floor. Now Fitch is calling, what is this? He's got something crazy in mind. Watch out, fans. Proceed with caution, front row. He's building momentum. Look at the speed. Oh, went for a dive, saw it coming though. Wow, what scouting by both men. What a kick there by Fitchett. Shades of Cairo Santos. Oh, a spear by Sterling. As Fitchett hits the floor very hard. Now Jake King has got Fitchett pounding away. Drives him into the ring apron. Come on! Fans, let's we gotta go to our commercial commitments. We'll be right back here on Metro Pro Wrestling. Will Fitchett recover? Welcome back to Metro Pro Wrestling as Mark Sterling has got a hold of Fitchett by the head. They're in the crowd, picks him up, drives him into the ring apron. That is the, the least safe area of the wrestling ring. No padding, it's pure steel and boards that make up the underside of that canvas. And Sterling now very proud of himself showing off that uh, physical ability. That fitness, what a strange time to show off that you've got a nice set of abs. The crowd letting Sterling hear it. Uh, the folks in the front row, I think a bit intimidated. Uh, certainly they are, Jake King was 
forcing those fans to clap for Sterling. Good grief. My apologies to the fans for the behavior of Mark Sterling tonight, as well as uh, that offer for personal training. What a slap in the face of the fans. And Sterling has taken firm control before the break, remember, which Jake King driving the small of the back of Fitchett into the apron. Jake King twice the size of Fitchett, actually more so. And then Sterling with a running slam, slamming him into the ring apron. And now Sterling going to work on that lower back. Oh, now look at this. Both a taunt and honestly a fairly effective hold as with the push-ups, every thrust down, or thrust up, excuse me, the head and neck driven into the middle rope. And really rope is just a, a term of vernacular we use. Uh, to describe what is truly a, a set of uh, steel cables with a thin layer of tape around it. So not nearly as uh, inviting, if you could call it a set of ropes inviting, to uh, be draped across and choked out on. Is that a steel cable? Fitchett fighting back. At that, this point, he knows it certainly is a three-on-one situation with three heavy hitters. He's got to use all the speed and all the agility he can to get out of it. Oh, backbreaker. This could be all. As long as Sterling grounds Fitchett, I don't see any way conceivable Fitchett can come out with a victory in this battle. As he, It's all about the high speed attack and, and the quick kicks for Matt Fitchett. That's his, 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 his MO. Sterling has got him right where he wants him here. He slowed it down with the devastating strikes, the strength-based moves. Now look at this. Wow. He lifted him up into an Argentinian backbreaker. Uh, and now he's actually chicken wing the arms. And he's, 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 he, he's turned this into a workout routine. Oh, kitchen sick knee lift. Yet again, another move by Sterling uses both a taunt to gain a psychological advantage as well as actually doing physical damage to his opponent at the same time. Now just straight right hands, five of them, to the top of the uh, forehead. Uh, actually also at the top of the bridge of the nose. Vicious placement by Mark Sterling. I mean, if you place a, 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 a knuckle to the left or the right, either way from where he was punching, you, you split open an eyelid very easily. And as you know, the top of the eyelid is the easiest place to draw blood from on the human face. No. Sterling has now grounded him with a bear hug. He is positioned Fitchett, so he is facing away from the closest set of ropes. Fitchett trying to get up to a vertical base here. Ryan King on the outside is furious about God knows what that guy. I tell you, we need to get a medical evaluation done of him uh, because he's he is a loose cannon. Fitchett, oh, misses the Ansiguri after countering out of another uh, lift by Sterling. And look at this, Fitchett. Oh, there you go. The agility in play, what a move by Fitchett with the Insegiri. Sterling fires back with the forearm, and he gets him a second time. Hits the ropes. Nice rolling kick by Matt Fitchett. Tremendous strike. This is his best chance of the match so far, right here, as he nails Sterling right in the, the right eye with the heel of his foot. Big charging hip attack. Fitchett with a oh, beautiful seat clothesline, heart attack style. And another one, encouraging Sterling back up to his feet. What's he got in mind here? Uh-oh, Sterling almost counted. Oh, tornado DDT style move. A counter DDT. This could be all, he spiked him on his head. Oh, Sterling with the shoulder up. No doubt about it. He has spiked Sterling directly on the top of the skull. That's how you lose some uh, interest to your height. Praise right in position in the middle of the ring. King Brothers could do nothing about it. But Mark Sterling is tough as they come. I hate his attitude. I hate some of his underhanded tactics, but he is certainly a very, very tough, if not one of the toughest competitors in the country today. No doubt about it, he is one of the toughest competitors in the country today. Let's pitch it now. This is where he performs best, the top rope. 
It's on the middle rope. And it's Sterling cut him off before you get to the top. Forearm smash by Sterling, who certainly doesn't want to take any sort of top rope attack from Matt Fitchett. Is what Sterling got in mind here? A superplex, maybe? Now Sterling doesn't generally take to the ropes too often. Uh-oh, Fitchett. Taking advantage here, sunset flip, bomb, sit out, power bomb, rolls through, bridge combination, pin, oh! Oh my god, what a knee right to the chin, right underneath the neck and the chin there. Oh, wow, what a strike there by Matt Fitchett. I can't believe Sterling, that, is, that was pure instinct. I think Sterling's still out as Fitchett took his knee and drove it up into the bottom of Sterling's chin and hit the trachea as well. Imagine that, folks. Imagine something, if you fell on the ground, right on your chin. I, I can't, oh my God, it hurts to even think about it. Oh, Fitchett was going for a crazy high fly move. Sterling counters into a, going from the mark shooter perhaps? No, Fitchett kicks him off. Got him back in place for a strike? No. Certainly misses the haymaker clothesline. Fitch it. One for another one of those DDTs. Oh, throw down Spinebuster style by Sterling. Oh, what a slam. And Fitch it still kicks out. Wow. What a slam. As you saw the whiplash of the head of Fitch it driven into the canvas. This has become an incredibly hard hitting bout. Uh, and, and remember, there's a lot on the line here. Uh, main event money is in, in, in place. Uh, number one contendership's in place. Sterling shaking off the, the uh, no doubt about it, he's taking some good damage at this point. About two goes for a German suplex. Fitchett unbelievably flips out of it. Running kick there. Beautiful strike. Into a standing star press. Oh, and the King Brothers are on the on the apron. Fitchett attacks them both. Get him! There you go. This is giving Sterling an opportunity to collect himself, create an attack situation. Now wait a minute, Fitchett, no, up top. Oh, one for the King Brothers instead of Sterling. Incredible move, entertaining move. Great tactic to keep the Kings at bay, but perhaps that was an opportunity. He could have got a good assault on Sterling. There we go. Uh oh, Sterling went for the full Nelson slam. Roll through, victory roll. Oh! Fitch it. Almost had Sterling there with the victory roll counter. And that's the thing. It doesn't matter how strong you are, it doesn't matter how talented you are, how powerful, how technically sound you are. How do you possibly prepare? for someone with the agility and the speed of Matt Fitchett. I, I, there, there's no way, to, there's no sparring partner to compare, prepare you for that. Now he kicks away the uh, hands of Sterling. Sterling feeling desperate at this point. I think he's honestly a bit intimidated uh, at this point of the bout by what Fitchett has been able to counter out of. As we're entering, this match has been going on over, uh, almost over 20 minutes now. We are entering those championship minutes of the match. Oh, roll up! Hand, oh, come on, he had the tights. Fitcher still kicks out. Oh, big knee to the stomach. Oh, whips him back. Sterling just whipped him back. Almost a women's wrestling tactic in play there. Not, not even a modern women's wrestling tactic. That's a Mula era tactic. He works him up to a vertical base, Irish whip. Oh, Fitchett kicks Jake King down. Sterling can't believe it, misses the spear. What a kick to the ear of Sterling. Got, got his big toe right on the temple. What a shot, tremendous targeting on the part of Matt Fitchett, who's got himself turned around here. Moonsault press with a cover. Oh! The technique and execution couldn't have been any better. And he could not get the victory with that moonsault. Unbelievable. You gotta hand it to Sterling for his resiliency here, but he knows he's been in a hell of a battle. Fitchett has got his second win. He is fired up and the crowd is firmly behind him. Sterling calling time. There's no timeouts in wrestling. 
Pitch it, charge, oh, up and over. Alley, oop, face first into the top turnbuckle. Craze is dealing with Jake King. Ryan King gets Fitch it. There we go, the spear. And Mark Sterling, with a little help in the end by the King brothers, is your new number one contender for the Central States Championship. What a battle, and what a performance by Matt Fitch, and now the King brothers attack. Come on. Outstanding matchup in our main event here on Metro Pro Wrestling, and the King brothers, come on. This is ridiculous. I mean, we, we've got over 850 pounds combined in the ring there with the Killer City Kings in. What are they doing to Matt Fitchett? Vega, remember, Davey Vega's tag partner already injured by the Kings. What is this? Lifting him up. Oh, and to a spear from Sterling. Triple team move. The disorientation of the unusual lift by the Kings, followed by the vicious strike to the rib cage of Matt Fitchett, who may also be on the shelf now, just like his tag team partner, as the King brothers are letting it be known they want a tag team title opportunity. Now Sterling's got that demonic, demonic kettlebell. Oh, Jeremy Wyatt! Jeremy Wyatt is here to make the save of the day. But the odds, how can any one man deal with these odds? The King Brothers attack, Sterling's got his legs. Well, certainly I admire Jeremy Wyatt for coming to the aid of Matt Fitchett. But at what cost is this to, to Wyatt? A man who, uh, coming up very soon, has a matchup with Christopher Daniels, the fallen angel. And what should be a remarkable match set up by Mark, Michael Strider. And remember at this point, if Wyatt loses any matches here in Metro Pro Wrestling, he is fired by Michael Strider. Now SBC is coming out. SBC making his way to the ring, who has a long history with all the men in the ring. Now wait, now what's going on here? SPC shaking hands with Mark Sterling. Now come on! Now wait a minute here. He's got the kettlebell. Oh, and he got Jay King! He got Ryan King! All right! Sterling can't believe it. Here we go! Oh! Sterling gets out of harm's way. But SPC... Coming to the aid of Jeremy Wyatt. Outstanding, I love it. Sterling can't believe it. After their years together on the road, their relationship they've built. But it's great to see SBC out here. He to be tag team champion. And where is Davey Vega? Too scared to fight us, so we're taking it. Well, certainly I uh, don't agree with much of what they say, but I will agree with the Killer City Kings when they say no one is safe. They are such a devastating force here in uh, Metro Pro Wrestling. And his SBC's got the microphone. Jeremy Wyatt, all egos aside, you're one of my best friends. We went to the World Series together. I had a blast at your bachelor party. Your wedding was fun too. I traveled the road thousands of miles with you and I just couldn't sit back and watch Mark Sterling and the King Brothers do that to you. Well, there you have it. It's beautiful when the personal friendships trump professional issues.